Today is the big day that we get to develop a system for matching the new antenna to the Millennium Falcon. Here is a picture of what the Millennium Falcon will look like after we attach the new antenna. Let's review for a moment. We ideally would like to have ZL equal to Z0, this would be matched case, where the input impedance of the antenna already equals the impedance of the transmission line. But this is not always possible because our antenna, the load, has other design constraints and can't always be set to the load impedance of the transmission line. We also saw earlier in this course that we can match a load to a transmission line by adding a quarter wave section of transmission line with a different Z0, here we called it Z0 2, at some distance from the load. Either it'd be right at the load or some distance from the load. Here I'll draw it at some distance from the load. So this is Z0, here's Z0, here would be the load, ZL, and this would be a quarter wavelength long. However, attaching transmission lines in series is harder for some transmission line geometries than others. Also, Chewbacca doesn't have another type of transmission line available for us to use, which we would need with this Z0 2 section. So we need another option. If we can't add a quarter wavelength transformer in series towards the end of the transmission line, can you think of another possibility? Well, if you've taken a circuit class, you might imagine we can try adding a circuit element in parallel to the transmission line instead of in series. Get out your in-class project notebooks and describe how we can't use, in this case, a quarter wave transformer in series because it calls for a section of transmission line with a different characteristic impedance, which we don't have available to us. Instead, we will try to put something in parallel with the end of the transmission line to improve how much power is delivered to the antenna. In other words, we'll try to better match the antenna to the transmission line using a circuit element in parallel with the end of the transmission line. And we'll have to see if we can do that without a different type of uh, transmission line with a different characteristic impedance.